cows, dogs, me, it all sense. Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, welcome to another video in which I teach you a nice practical guitar skill to apply immediately in your playing. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to tune your guitar perfectly, perfectly, without the use of a tuner. Now, most of you like to use this method. The guitar is out of tune on purpose. Um, the 55545 method. Now, that's a nice method, but it's a bit impractical. Why? Because you have to go back and forth from the strings to the tuning pegs. You have to let go of the note. For example, it's a bit out of tune, so you let go of the note and tune the string and then go back and compare them again. Waste of time. Uh, and you let go of the note, so you have no point of ongoing comparison. Or some people do this, okay, and then you have to go back and forth from playing the strings to tuning to playing the strings to tuning to playing the strings, which is even more uncomfortable. So what we're going to do is use natural harmonics to tune our guitar, like this. Hear that? The open strings can be played. Uh, the notes can be played in natural harmonics, and that's what we're going to use. Now, natural harmonics, I'll take a second to explain if you don't know, uh, is when you place a finger, any finger, on top of the string right above the steel fret. Exactly above the steel fret on 5, 7, and 12, and you can also produce them on 9, and 4, and 3 if you want, but the easiest ones are on 5, 7, and 12. Try it. Just put a finger on the string. Don't press it down. Just touch the string and play it. Okay, you can do a lot of cool stuff with natural harmonics. I'm going to show you in a different lesson. But in the meantime, just produce them. Now, let's start the method. The natural harmonic on 5 on the E bass string is the same note you get when you play the natural harmonic on 7 on the A string. Okay, so it's the same note. And if the guitar is even a bit out of tune, they clash. And then when they clash, let's get it even more. You just tune your guitar and hear them align. Listen to it. See? Suddenly it's the same note. Hear them align? It's the same thing with A and D. 5 on A, 7 on D. Oh, that's tuned. Now it's tuned. Got it? And the same thing on G and D. Same thing. Let's get it out of tune. Hear them align? Let's get the G string out of tune. You hear how the waveforms align to sit together? And then what do you do with strings 2 and 1? The natural harmonic on 7 on the 6th string is the open B string. Okay, this. See? Exactly the same note. And the natural harmonic on 5 on the 6th string is the E string. See? And then you can check it out and see if those two are in tune by using 5 and 7 again. See? So, that's the method. 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7. Five, uh, seven on the sixth string with the open B string and five on the E bass string with the high E string. And that's the method. And you have ongoing notes and you can hear them and just adjust your strings accordingly. So 
Before you go practice this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons and method lessons here already for you to learn and a lot more to come. Uh, go download the tab in the description. You'll find the link to the website. Download the tab. It's for free and it'll help you practice this um, if you need a visual aid. And of course, if you want to give something back to Lick and Ref, everything here is for free. But if you want to give something back, there's a large blue donation button and it all goes right back into Lick and Ref into making these lessons. So if you want to help out in production, I'll be more than grateful for your help and I thank you in advance for it. So, you go practice this and see how this method works every time and um, have fun and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.